Hi, my name is Morgan Gunther and I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District and thanks for joining Songs and Stories. Today we're going to be learning all about trees, what helps them grow, and some of the animals that they support. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start off by doing a little bit of plant yoga. So I want you to imagine that you're a plant. Everyone take a big deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, if you were a plant, you'd actually be breathing in carbon dioxide and out oxygen for all of us and other animals to breathe. Now, if you were a plant, what part of the plant might your feet be that hold you into the ground? That would be your roots. So everyone reach down to your roots and say roots. And then if you were a plant, what part of the plant might your legs be? Everyone say stems and say stems and back down to your roots all the way at your feet and then stems. Now, if you were a plant and your arms were to reach out and collect the sunlight, what part of the plant might your leaves be? Your hands, yeah. So everyone reach out your leaves and say leaves and go back down to your roots, stems, leaves. And then one of the most beautiful parts of the plant that smells really nice and your most beautiful part is your face. Everyone say flower. And then back down to your roots, stems, leaves, flowers. And then after a flower is pollinated by a bee or a fly or even a mosquito, then it develops fruit. Everyone say fruit. And then inside the fruit are things that make a new plant, which are seeds. So everyone say seeds and go back down to your roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. One more time as loud as you can. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. So we've got lots of different ways that plants are able to grow. So now that we know a little bit more what it's like to be a plant, we're going to read a story all about a tree that grew for a very long time. And this story is called Once There Was a Tree by Natalia Romanova. Pictures by Jenity Spearin. The pictures are really beautiful in this one. Once There Was a Tree. Once there was a tree. It had grown for many years and now it was growing old. Dark clouds swept across the sky. Rain fell, thunder roared, and a lightning bolt split the tree in two. Go right there. What's going to happen to the tree? Let's find out. A woodsman came upon the broken tree and sawed it down. There he is. So only the stump remained. Soon, a bark beetle with long feelers settled in. The beetle loved the stump and laid her eggs under its bark. The eggs hatched and tiny maggots emerged. All summer long, they gnawed tunnels in the bark. Winter came oh, and they slept. When they awoke in spring with long feelers of their own, they knew it was time to fly away. Who's gonna move in next? But the tree stump was not deserted for long. With all of its entrances and exits, the maggots had made, here was the perfect place for ants to live. One ant brought a leaf, another a twig, and another a grain of sand. They cleared out the tunnels and made the stump their home. You can see all the little ants march, march, marching along. <gasps> Who's here now? A bear! Can you put your, your bear claws? A bear approached the tree stump, sniffed, 
and sharpened his claws. The stump was hers, like everything else around. Even the ants in the stump were hers, and no other bear would dare disturb them. I wouldn't disturb that bear. A tiny little titmouse flew down and landed on the stump. She spotted an ant dragging a caterpillar and pecked at it. Now the caterpillar was hers. The ants were hers too, and so was the tree stump. No other birds would come near. One rainy day, everyone make it rain. One rainy day, a frog, ribbit, ribbit, found shelter in a hole in the tree stump. There's that frog. Time and weather had dug these holes, which would protect others who also passed by. The warm sun dried the tree stump, soak up the sun. <sighs> and soon a new occupant had moved in, an earwig. You might have seen those bugs before. They have that kind of like pincher butt. Nothing better than the shade. The earwig crept under the bark to sleep. It's kind of like climbing under your covers. A man was walking in the woods. What does he have with it? And saw the tree stump. He's got one, two, three dogs. He sat down on the tree stump to rest. And now the tree stump was his. Hmm. The man thought he owned the forest and the earth. So why not the tree stump? Hmm, that's interesting. Do you think the man owned the tree stump? But who really owned the tree stump? The bark beetle that gnaws tunnels inside it? The ant that travel through the tunnels? The earwig that sleeps under its bark? Or the bear that uses it to sharpen her claws? Who do you think? Does it belong to the titmouse that flies down upon it? The frog? Rabbit that finds shelter in one of its holes, or the man who believes he owns the forest. What do you think owns the tree stump? Hmm. Maybe the tree stump belongs to all. The beetles and the ants, the bear and the titmouse, the frog, the earwig, and even the man all must live together Meanwhile, the tree stump gets older and older. The sun warms it. The rain cools it. Soon it begins to rot. Night comes and the forest is cast in moonlight. What remains of the tree stump glows in the dark. Now the tree stump is gone. A new tree has grown in its place. A titmouse is perched in its branches. It is her tree. An ant crawls up high on her tree. A bear lumbers by and sharpens his claws on the bark. A man lays down to rest in its shade. The tree belongs to all because it grows from the earth that is home for all. The end. So trees and the forest and the East Bay Regional Parks are for all of us. And we're gonna sing a song next that's all about a tree that I'm actually sitting right in front of, which is an oak tree. So we've got some leaves here and here's a dried leaf. And if you touch them, they're kind of pokey. And there's lots of these and they have acorns in the fall. And there's a lot of animals that love these love these oak trees. And like I said, these are called live oak trees. So we're going to sing a song all about oak trees. And I'm going to teach you the chorus and then I'm going to sing some verses. So it goes a little bit something like this. It goes live oak, live oak. Ch -ch. You got to get the shoulder action there. So let's try that together. Live oak, live oak. Ch -ch. Then it goes, oh baby, let your xylem flow up. And then you can reach up. 
And xylem is something that carries water through the tree. So again, that's, oh baby, let your xylem flow up. And then you can jazz it out and go, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we do the live oak part again. So it goes, live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, 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 I'm singing live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the part that you're gonna help me sing. And you can do whatever motions and dancing around that you feel like doing. I'm singing live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, I'm singing live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, well gray squirrel told me just the other day, he found an acorn and he ran away, he dug a hole, stuck it in the sand, now tall trees grow across the land, I'm singing live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up, yeah, yeah, I'm singing live oak, live oak, ch -ch. oh baby, let your xylem flow up, yeah, Water and nutrients begin to flow. They raise their branches up to the sun. Now photosynthesis has begun. I'm singing live oak, live oak. Oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, I'm singing live oak, live oak. Oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, well live oak's leaves will prick your skin. You touch them once you won't touch them again. Oak woodland is their favorite home. So pay them a visit in their own life zone. I'm singing live oak, live oak. Oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, yeah, I'm singing live oak, live oak. Oh baby, let your xylem flow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so my friends, thank you so much for joining us for songs and stories today. And remember, if you're feeling like you need to stretch, you can do a little bit of plant yoga. And remember that these trees give us so much in our home for so many animals and a great place for all of us as well. Thanks so much.